Mm -hmm. Hi. Hey, hey everybody. Remember to look at the lens. Oh, sorry. Ah. Hi. We're going to show you the dark room real quick and see what Conan did today. Conan, take it away. Okay. I uh, framed in the uh, shelf. It must be so sad if it broke. I mean, it's kind of bittersweet to, you know, get something that was so, uh, such a part of your life for so long to um, get it ready and ship it off. But, uh, you know, who needs this many campers, right? We actually turned this into a mobile studio. Here's Catherine. Here's me. And paper negative dark room. Several years ago. <laughs> it feels so huge in here compared to <laughs> the little ones that we have now. Yeah, I'll swing my arms around. You know, the more I look at it, the more I really kind of like this camper. Yeah. No. 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 We're not keeping it. Be right here with you. This world of ticking clocks, I hope I'm getting through. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we've been working on a remodel of a 1968 Playmore Model 140 and uh, <laughs> making lots of progress on that. However, this behind me is not that camper. This is uh, actually our first camper. It's been sitting down here in Belle Plaine. Catherine's parents were kind enough to store it on some of their property. We are going to take the tarp off of it and give you a tour of it. And we've got another reason to do that because we're going to take it back to Wichita with us and we're gonna get it ready to sell. So we'll show you some of the things we did, what we used it for and uh, some of the things that uh, maybe need to be replaced after it's been sitting in storage for so long. So uh, let's get this tarp off. Okay, so what is this thing? Well, I'm not 100% positive. From what we can tell, it's a Conestoga and it's about 18 and a half feet. It was originally uh, silver in the middle and white on the bottom and uh, after keeping it that paint scheme for a while, we uh, decided to paint that kind of teal stripe along the, the middle, um, which I thought looked pretty nice at the time. Today, maybe I'd do a different paint job, but whatever. Uh, that's neither here nor there. We renovated this to start our business, and you can see our name right there on the door, Lamp House Photo. So it had kind of a unique usage that we'll talk about on the inside, but uh, you know, the more I look at it, the more I really kind of like this camper, but yeah. No. no, 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 we're not keeping it. New camper. Okay, so here's a clue to what we use this for. Step right up and take a photo in the hashtag Lampy Camper. Uh, so yeah, you know we own photo booths and uh, this is how we started. So let me show you what we were doing in here. We actually turned this into a mobile studio and paper negative dark room. You know, it, it was more than just a photo booth. It was, it was a very handmade process. I took all the photos on a vintage large format camera and then uh, we passed them back through these little holes in the wall and then Catherine did all the uh, developing back in a little dark room that we built in the back end. And we had a couple of pictures of both of us in here. Here's Catherine. Here's me. Several years ago. <laughs> we did that for mm, at least a couple of years. And then we uh, turned it into a digital photo booth, just like our other campers. So uh, this was this is where we got started. And um, yeah, it was fun. So yeah, to kind of explain how it would work, people would come in and there was a bench right here. So they would sit down there and I had my large format camera on a rolling stand that was right there where the camera is now. And so they'd sit down. Uh, we had these two lights on the walls that would kind of swing out and illuminate people. And then I had a little background light back here. So people would sit down, I'd focus them up, load the camera, take their picture. You know, it sounds really involved, but that was actually the shortest part of the process. Uh, the developing took the longest, but even that only took maybe 10 minutes or so. So it was pretty quick. 
Okay, so this would probably be the hardest part for me to record because uh, one, because it's dark in here because it's a dark room, and two, because it's really tiny. Uh, we made these little blackout screens to put over the windows so that we could make this completely dark in here, and it actually worked really well. It was very simple. Um, this is just some um, blackout material. We actually got this from a um, camera store, so a camera store that I worked at at the time, but it's actually made to blackout windows for a dark room. So this is a specific photographic product, but you could probably get some other heavy duty material and do the same thing with, but it was simple, worked, uh, no problem at all. Right here on this side, we had our enlarger setup. And uh, we didn't actually use the enlarger to enlarge any kind of negative. It was just a light source that we could do to re-expose uh, through a contact print. We, once we developed the negative, the negative went over a fresh sheet of paper, put them down under the enlarger, uh, exposed it, and then uh, took those apart and then developed the actual print. And it worked remarkably well. There were, there were some technical difficulties to figure out doing this in a tiny tiny dark room and in a camper it really it i was i was amazed that it worked at all and it worked i would say perfectly <laughs> um, but then once the print was done passed it through the wall on the other side and i handed it off to the people but that's basically it for the dark room uh one thing when you have a little dark room like this you worry about ventilation and when you ventilate a dark room the way you really want to do it is positive pressure so you force air into the dark room, which forces the bad air out. So uh, we put in, in the little cabinet next to, on, on that side of the dark room, we put a little fan motor and a vent that would draw uh, the fresh air conditioned at the time air from the front part into here and help uh, keep it fresh and also sort of cool it down. It didn't work really well, but it worked okay uh, otherwise. So one thing I noticed getting back in here is that um, some of these floorboards are starting to warp and peel up. And uh, this was just peel and stick flooring. And we really liked it at the time and it held up to a lot of abuse, but after being in storage, these have kind of shrunk a little. They've started to pull up from their adhesive backing. Honestly, this is probably why they don't recommend using this kind of stuff in a camper. I'm happy with the flooring that we used in our new camper and that's um, probably the flooring that I would use from now on. Leave this stuff for your house in your laundry room or something like that where it doesn't have to deal with all the heat and cold cycles that this stuff does out here in a camper. Okay, so that's the tour of our, our big lampy camper. We're going to hitch this up and tow it back to Wichita. We're going to clean it up. We're going to fix a few things that need uh, a little bit of work, but we're not going to, you know, renovate this one. We're going to leave that for someone else that wants to. You could turn it back into a camper. You could also use it for some sort of mobile business. It'd be a great mobile boutique or something like that. As a camper, it feels so huge in here. Uh, I mean, so much space. I can, you know, swing my arms around. Maybe it could be a mobile dance studio. Probably not. But anyway. Okay, so real-time update. We sold the camper, and it is going to a very nice couple in Arkansas that I video chatted with the other day and kind of walked through the camper, told them all the features that we had built into it, but also some of the things that they might want to work on and change and, and how to make it their own. And they've got some uh, plans already for color schemes, and so I'm excited to eventually see how that all works out for them. Yeah, they're gonna turn it back into a photo booth. So it's always kind of exciting to see when other people take that on and kind of make it their own. I think it'll work out great for them. Next week, we're gonna be back to our Playmore Model 140. So make sure and like and subscribe. The videos come out every Sunday, so we'll see you then. Moments passing away I've never seen before You help me out of the dark I always wonder if you were left without a mark 
Did you ever let go? Did you ever not know? You were never out there alone Do you think there's a chance For there's enough to be real I will let you take